This is one of the mother videos on making a simple web browser. And first of all, you need Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 Express Edition. Uh, when you got that, click New Project. Windows Form Application. Name it whatever you want. Mine will be named the web browser. Now you can make this bigger if you'd like to. I'll make it about that big. And as you can see, it says Form 1. You can change that to whatever you want by going to Properties window. And in text, write whatever you want. Mine will be Web Browser. Okay. As you can see, it changed. And now what you need is a web browser. And I like to put it on undocked in parent container. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. And I like to put it like that because I'm going to add some stuff to the top. So, yeah. For right now, I'll, keep, I'll leave it like that because I got to add some buttons. I usually get five. There's five buttons. Now we're just gonna rename them first. But in one will be go. But in two will be refresh. But in three will be stop. But in four will be forward and button 5 will be back right now that you got that done you can place them wherever you like now before I place them I'm gonna add something extra you don't have to add this if you don't want to but it's a menu strip and you can put file and you can put like exit down here and since this isn't like a advanced web browser tutorial then I'm not gonna add like new tab close tab and all that stuff or bookmarks all right I make I might make one of those videos when I learn how to do it like bookmarks and stuff so yeah for right now I'm just gonna do exit all right uh, of course you need a text box right now I'll place it right there I like to put my go button on the side and then make this a bit bigger and add the refresh button and yeah Now I got a little bit of space over here, so let's use it all up. Alright, cool. So now, let's make this bigger, just like that. And now that you got your design done, now you need to double click on go. Over here, it will say all these all this code, but you need to add a web browser one dot navigate, and then text box one dot text. Really easy, and it works. Now our go button works. Now we need to make our refresh button work with web browser one dot refresh. That's all. And same thing with stop. Web browser one dot stop. Same thing with forward. Web browser one dot for go forward. And same thing with back. Web browser one dot go back. Basically, that's all the code for all that. Now, you got all these buttons working, and of course your web browser will work. Now, file, 
This is one of the easiest codes to make the web browser exit when you click exit on file exit. Hope that made sense. Uh, you only type in end. That's all. And that's it. Now, if you want to set like a home page when you start up your web browser, just go to properties and search. It should say URL down here and put like google.com. And that's about that's it. And click play. Start it up. Look at that. Took you straight to Google. You can search anything in images, maps. Uh, refresh works perfectly. It refreshes. Uh, refresh stop works perfectly. Well, yeah, I think it does. All right, yeah. And forward. Oh, we haven't gone forward, but backward, back, and forward. Perfect. Now back, stop. Oh, let's go to YouTube. Perfect, it works. And file, exit. Hope you learned something from this video and have a great time. Bye.